The night sky has always been humanity's most ancient time clock. The movement and absence of the sun guides the day and the night. The months are measured by the phases of the moon, and every season begins with a solstice or equinox. As the autumn season approaches in the northern hemisphere, the days grow shorter, the nights become longer until we meet the days of the autumn equinox, also called the fall equinox. In this video, we will explore the concept of the autumn equinox why it happens, and how the star patterns in the night sky will shift as the seasons change. Welcome to Learn the Sky. My name is Janine, and I'll be your guide as we explore the night sky together, one constellation at a time. What is the autumn equinox? The autumn equinox is considered the first day of autumn or fall and one of the two days of the year in which the day and night are of equal length. If you break down the word equinox, it comes from the Latin word equi, which means equal, and nox, which means night. The word autumn is also derived from Latin, but its roots are a bit obscure. The earliest versions of the word autumn were called harvest. However, records of the word autumn surfaced in the 1300s in works of Chaucer and Shakespeare, and the word fall shows up about 200 years later. So the use of autumn or fall or harvest for this season depends upon the culture and place. But if you can recognize the root words of the autumn equinox, it can help you remember that it is the time of year where the day and the night are of equal length, marking the first day of the fall. From the celestial point of view, an equinox event is when the Earth's tilt and orbit around the sun align its axis neither away from the sun nor towards the sun. During this time, the sun shines directly on the Earth's equator. For the autumn equinox, this date usually occurs after mid-September and it marks the first day of autumn. The first equinox happens earlier in the year after mid-March and it marks the first day of spring. The experience of the autumn equinox will be different depending on which hemisphere you live in. I'm located in the northern hemisphere, so for us, the sun is rising later now and nightfall comes earlier. The temperatures begin to cool and the days start to get shorter and the nights get longer. The trees and plants are ending their cycle of growth and it's like nature's last blast of energy before the winter comes. Meanwhile, south of the equator, they experience the opposite effect. Life everywhere is beginning to reawaken after having the longer nights and shorter days. From the stargazer's perspective, the star patterns and celestial objects begin to shift as well. The Milky Way is no longer present in the sky during the autumn months, and this allows us to peer deeper into the universe. Fall time provides an awesome opportunity for us to see faraway galaxies, but sometimes you often need magnification if you want to see these distant galaxies. The exception to this would be the Andromeda Galaxy. This is a fuzzy patch in the sky that will be the oldest light you would ever see with the naked eye. Andromeda Galaxy is a distant spiral galaxy, and it's speeding towards our own Milky Way galaxy, and it really is an awesome object to see, either with the naked eye or with magnification. The constellation patterns we see in the night sky begin to shift as well. Some of the main constellations you can see during this time are Pegasus, Andromeda, Perseus, Triangulum, Capricorn, Aquarius, Delphinus, and Aries. So this concludes our video about the autumn equinox. No matter where you are on the planet, we share this day together as the seasons change. Thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comments what is the autumn equinox like in your area of the world. For me personally, I love autumn because of the seasonal changes it brings. It's just cooler. The leaves change color and apples and pumpkins are ready to be picked. It's, it's definitely my favorite season. So I know this community of stargazers includes people all around the world. So feel free to share your unique experiences. And as always, I encourage you to go outside, view the stars, take a friend or pet with you. And as always, keep looking up.